What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode number 25 of Park to Prem here with Lincoln City. Today's different everyone. Today today is not a normal episode. I can't sit here and pretend it is. There is no live com match today. And that is because that over the course of the last month, I've sat down with two different clubs and had interviews about their job openings. Yeah, let's talk about these, shall we? The first club, it may not come as a massive surprise, is Swansea City. Yes, Swansea City, who of course were relegated from the Premier League, they came to me with a job offer. They sacked their manager. We talked about it just last episode, of course, the team that I thought we were going to go to, and uh, what you can see on screen is the interview process and how it went. And I will not try and deceive you here, they've offered me a job. There is a job offer from Swansea, and it's tempting. Uh, we're going to look through the teams that I'm talking about in this video in a lot of detail, compare them to Lincoln City, get a feel for what the options are out there. But Swansea City, club number one, they asked for the board. Backroom changes, not long after that, they said, hey, do you want the job? I've told them to delay it for now because I got another job offer, this time from Nottingham Forest. Yes, it started off with a job interview. They came to me in a very similar situation. Both clubs who were relegated from the Premier League last year and have struggled massively in the Championship. I'm not going to hide it from you. Nottingham Forest has been the club that I've been looking at for a very long time. They've got a lot of money to spend. Over £40 million in transfer budget and £700,000 in excess wage budget just there to be spent. Um, but both are slightly different projects in their own little way. And, well, as you will see, things at Lincoln haven't been smooth sailing, but there's still a part of me that feels like there's unfinished business to be done. Anyway, that is the lie of the land right now. A job offer from Nottingham Forest, a job offer from Swansea City, another one, well, another job at Lincoln, I suppose, that still just exists. Let's go figure out what the hell we're going to do today, shall we? So here we are, folks, at Lincoln City for what could potentially be the final time. That feels emotional to even contemplate, but as I've already said, we've got a bit of a decision to make today. And I think the best thing to do is talk about what's happened since you were here um, in a little bit of detail, just so you can kind of see where my headspace is at. Now, of course, at the end of last season, when we got promoted, I discussed the idea of leaving the club, um, you know, if the right job came along. And I did even talk about Nottingham Forest as a possible example as well as Swansea City, uh, who were also relegated alongside Crystal Palace. But the way things have kind of played out, Palace have hit their ground running, really. I say that, that's maybe a bit generous. All the teams that have been relegated from the Premier League have struggled to a degree. You can see for us, we are currently in 10th. Uh, our recent form is not very good though, but Swansea, 23rd with 12 points in 14. And meanwhile, Nottingham Forest, not doing as badly by comparison, but it's very, very close. In fact, throughout the entire league, it's close really until Peterborough. And there's just a little bit of a jump up to the teams in the playoff. Um, of course, we were up near the playoffs last time you we were here. That has fallen by the wayside. Of course, that draw against Fulham felt like a great result. And since then... A lot of red. And I, I do wonder how much of that has been caused by my head being turned. You know, when Swansea approached us, it was kind of towards the start of October, um, just after, actually, they'd sacked their manager. In fact, we lost to Swansea after they sacked their manager. And uh, given they approached us first, I think we'll have a look at them first. You can see right now um, they've got Alan Nil in as their kind of temporary kind of manager, I suppose, uh, if we just look at the general state of things, they were predicted to finish 7th, so not predicted to finish super highly. I'm also going to just turn on the finances tab here, just so we can get a rough idea for the kind of money they were offering me. Um, you can see their remaining transfer budget is uh, 31 million. Their current wages, they've got about £50,000 on the wages free. I mean, the simple fact of the matter is their wage budget is eight times larger than ours. And I know there's probably the question of Jack... Why would you want to leave Lincoln City now? And the simple reason is, I feel like we've hit a bit of a ceiling. We've hit a point where I'm not that sure how much further I can take this team without years of slogging it out. If we just look at the salaries per year, you can see Nottingham Forest and Swansea are both right up there, spending 30 plus million a year on wages. Here at Lincoln City, by comparison, we're spending 4.62 million a year on wages and we're still massively in the red. And, 
I feel like what we've done at Lincoln is pretty incredible, but I, I fear that it could have a bit of a sour ending, especially given the recent form and the way that the players have turned against me. Morale's been a real problem. We've had players, you know, murmuring of discontent. In fact, if we just look at the club atmosphere, it's down at very poor, although it has improved ever so slightly. Um... Yeah, I'm surprised how quickly the players turned on me. I, I, it actually happened within this kind of recent rough run of results. They kind of turned their their ugly heads. We've had team meetings. We've had players complaining about the littlest of things. And I've tried to juggle it a little bit. But as you can see, those issues have seeped through onto the pitch. And there's a, there's a part of me that wants to jump ship, I suppose, whilst we can. And also because it really makes sense to jump ship. Our stock is super high. We're currently in the top half of the championship. That was way above the preseason expectations. As I talked about, uh, you know, just over the last couple of episodes, we had early an easier start to the season that really benefited us. Um, if I was going to leave, it feels like now is a pretty logical time to do so with my stock at an all-time high. So, yeah, you can see here just how incredible Swansea are in terms of, you know, financially versus us. If we just have a look at their team in a little bit of detail, they've got Akande here, who is their key player. He can play out on the left, out on the right, or naturally as a striker. He looks really, really blooming good. And in fact, this whole Swansea team looks beyond solid. It's a, a well-rounded team. It's got some pretty big players at the team as well, like Eze has made his way over here. I guess he just didn't really have it happen at Palace. You can see here he's done well, kind of, over the last couple of years, but fallen off a little bit. But um, no, they, they've got a good squad. And I think the big thing about Swansea is they've got some insane young players. We talked about in last episode. We should talk about them again. Tom Smith is their star striker. He looks absolutely insane at 20, but they've got plenty of other players lining up. What I would say is the bulk of their kind of first team are kind of in their late 20s to early 30s. You know, the, the core of the team is a little older. And whilst there are some younger players kind of coming through, you can see they've signed a load of players on loan, which is undoubtedly taking away first team opportunities from players who already play at Swansea. They're down in 23rd. They beat us 1-0, just as a little reminder. You can see they also beat the other team that we need to talk about here in Nottingham Forest. And um, between Nottingham Forest and Swansea... I'm a little torn, or at least I was a little torn, until I saw the finances. And this is the reason why I think the big decision today is really between, do I want to go to Nottingham Forest, or do I want to stay at Lincoln City? Uh, yes, that's right. Right at this moment, right now, in my mind, I have ruled Swansea out. I just, I don't think it's quite the right move, and it's a bit of a shame because they've asked me twice now in back-to-back -back series to join them. Um, but if we just compare the finances of Nottingham Forest to Swansea, I think it becomes an easier decision. Nottingham Forest, of course, they had two years in the Premier League where they kind of scraped by survival under Chris Hewton before getting relegated. All that TV money has been amassed, and you can see now their financial summary. They've got £100 million in the bank as a championship club. Their current wage spend is £815,000 a week. Their actual budget is over £700,000 more than that. They've got so much money to spend, and that is because they've sold a lot of their key players. They made £88 million in selling players, and this wasn't one or two big players leaving. It was, you know, a really big core of their squad that has moved on, and that has left them in a pretty rough situation. And whilst they invested a little bit of that money, as you can tell by the fact they've still got £44 million in the bank... They, uh, they've they not spent enough of it, and that's kind of evident, I suppose, by their league position. Of course, they have not changed their manager. They've shown a lot of patience with Chris Hewton, and that's another reason why I think Nottingham Forest could be a, a you know a pretty good job, is I don't think there's much risk of getting sacked, and as a, a long-term prospect, I think they could be very, very good. And the big thing about Swan, uh, not about Swansea, about Nottingham Forest really is their legacy. A team who have won the Division 1, they won back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, there's kind of a part of me that feels like, whilst the series is called Park to Prem, maybe the big pie-in-the-sky objective here at Nottingham Forest is to try and match that back-to-back -back Champions League win, if we can. Of course, we only won one Champions League at Town or Town, so maybe trying to take it one step further with Nottingham Forest, trying to match something that they did under Clough. Um, you can see now, over three decades ago, as of the dates in Football Manager, or four decades ago even. I can't do math. How is it 2026? Madness. Um, but no, they're, they're a team with a lot of history. They've got a lot of money. And they've had a really, really rough year. And you may have noticed, 
I've got the job offer here. The job offer is sat here. I'm not going to make a decision here and now, but Lincoln City and Nottingham Forest's next games are against each other. So tomorrow's episodes, and I say episodes because we'll do one episode of this is the reason why I've not gone to this team. This is the reason why we're staying at Lincoln or going to Nottingham Forest. You know, they'll go up at the same time. Bit of a mystery. But the first live come at the new club or at Lincoln City is going to be against the team that I've just either left or turned down. And that <laughs> that's incredible in terms of timing. But no, Forest makes a lot of sense. They're geographically close to Lincoln, somewhat considered divisional rivals, or not divisional rivals, but localish rivals. In fact, if we look under general here, does it have it doesn't actually have it set up for Forest. Do, do Lincoln have it set up? Obviously, they've not played in the same division for a very long time. You can see, yeah, they've got a bit of a rivalry in Notts County. Either way, Nottingham, uh, Nottingham and Lincoln, they're, they're really not worlds apart. Uh, it's going to be a controversial move no matter what I do here. I guess the big question is, do I want to hunt out a legacy here at Lincoln City knowing the fact it's going to be a bit of a slog and a bit of a struggle? And, well, given recent form, it could be the beginning of a downward spiral. I may not get a better job offer than this Nottingham Forest one. Or do I want to, you know, forgo loyalties, jump ship, go to the team who have started the season slowly but have a load of money available, do a big rebuild, try and match that record of Clough, try and get them a, a Premier League win and maybe a few Champions Leagues to go with it. I think that's the big debate right now. And I think also, and I don't want to say this definitively, I feel like this might be my last time to leave a club or join a new club um, at any point in this series. Because I feel like if I wasn't to take this job now, I'm probably going to have to see it all through with Lincoln in a weird way. I feel like it's kind of a now or never. And that's kind of a decision, I suppose, that I've got to come to. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I've still not really decided. Nottingham Forest is a job that I've had my eye on for such a long time. And they have got all this money, but they've had such a rough start to the year. And they don't have that many incredible players in their team there would be quite a rebuild needed I think whereas I feel like at Lincoln City I've got a squad that's very much molded kind of to my style to my approach and of course we have got that star player Peder Bulk who is going to be joining us at Lincoln next summer be a bit sad if I don't get a chance to see who I think could be the star player of the series play for the club I've signed him for Anyway, I'm not really sure if there's a right or wrong decision here. I would love to know your thoughts down below. I will now issue an apology to Swansea City because I've, I've ran them round a little bit, everyone. I'm going to hold my hands up and admit it. If we just look at Swansea, I've, del I've delayed them twice. I've delayed them twice. And as I've already said, I think between them and Nottingham Forest, Nottingham Forest is logical. But then the debate becomes, do I want to go to Nottingham Forest or do I want to stay at Lincoln I need to go and sleep on it. Truth be told, it's very late at night as I record this video. So apologies if it's been slightly rambly. But I feel like this is one of those episodes where my head's kind of all over the place. And I'm not sure what the right move is. And somehow I'm hoping that by rambling away, it's going to just hit me like a bolt from the blue. If we just we had, we had a look at Swansea's team. If we just look at Forrest's team in a little bit of detail. Their key player is Adrian Smith. He's a good player. He's very, very good. He's 20 years old, fairly ambitious, wonder kid, English. They've also got Martin Foy, who's another young English player, promising winger. Both Forrest and Swansea did have some really good young players. And by comparison, you can see here, there's a fair few players in the first team for Nottingham Forest who are very, very good. Worth noting that because we're about to play them in the league, I actually have them all fully scouted. Um, so here is the, the star ratings versus our current Lincoln team. Yeah, it's it, it's a really, really good team. And it's got some pretty good young players in it. And they've got a guy called Damani Grimes, everyone. Damani Grimes, what a name that is. I mean, that name alone. He looks very good as well. He must be one of their better defenders. Yeah, you can see, actually know. That's him compared to Cabango. Uh, Cabango. <laughs> he wants to break it to Cabango that he's not as good as Damani. Not with his name, not with his ability. Man, I don't know what to do here, but I'm just, I'm just thinking about the fact that no matter what happens, next episode will be Nottingham Forest v Lincoln. I just don't know who I'm going to be managing. Okay, lots to digest, lots to think about. If you've got any thoughts of your own, I would like to know them down in the comments. I did enjoy the feeling of moving clubs from Boston to Lincoln City. 
but there is a small part of me that you know feels like Lincoln's become a home, and it's a case of do I want to uproot my home? Um, don't worry, I have already. Uh, well, by negotiating staff, managed to agree that Peter Crouch will come with us. So that's at least the furniture's coming with us as we move house. Anyway, I think today we'll just leave things on my manager profile, which I'm hoping is going to load at some point here. But yeah, I've got a lot to think about. The league form's been awful. There is absolutely no excusing that. We've been poor. But the team is still in 10th. And with that in mind, I feel like I've taken them pretty blooming far. Uh, I feel like also they've probably got enough points I want to believe this year that they won't be in a relegation scrap if I was to leave them. You can just see that the profile here is just loaded up. Of course, we're at Boston United for, what, two years? We've been at Lincoln now for the best part of three years. They've taken us a long way. They've paid for all of our coaching badges. We've improved a fair lot bit. And to even be offered the opportunity to manage you know, a team who have won Champions Leagues, I think is... A testament in itself to how much we've done here at Lincoln and how well we've done here at Lincoln. Make no mistake, we have done very, very well over the years. 155 games played, 56% win percentage. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the right move is. I'm going to go and think about it, everyone. I'm going to go lie down, sleep on it, and then panic in the morning. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Let me know your thoughts down below. As I said, this is one of those more rambly episodes where I'm kind of just spitballing my mind. So if you've got any words of wisdom, words that are going to provide clarity, let me know them. Tomorrow, as I said, two videos will go up simultaneously. One will have a Lincoln thumbnail. One will have a Nottingham Forest thumbnail. Which one is an actual episode? I suppose to rem remains to be seen. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this one. If you got to the end, a special thank you as well, because it has been a bit off script and a bit just of a mess. But that is kind of where my heads are at right now. I'll see you guys soon. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.